A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of this uh, morning conversation. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you on this fine Thursday morning. And of course, this is your number one youth station, Y254 TV. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website, and that's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. And of course, today on this morning conversation, we have a very interesting topic lined up for you because today we want to find out what are the pillars of a healthy relationship? Are you struggling with the relationship? Are you trying to find out how you can be able to bring it up? What is it that you're trying to find out? When it comes to strengthening your relationship, what is it that you're looking for? Are you starting a relationship and, you're, and, and you want it to last? They say it burns out quickly. But, and, and it fades fast when we have good, uh, of course, these new relationships. How can we have healthy relationships that end in marriage? Today, let's talk about this particular conversation right here on Park. And of course, we welcome you to join us in this conversation. In studio, I am with, uh, to my far right, Evans Kocho, Reverend Evans Kocho. <coughs> he is a pastor, a counselor and a conference speaker and, of course, a mentor. Karim Sana? Pleasure. Looking forward for this. I appreciate it, my brother. And, of course, yeah. next to me, I'm with Violet Mumbi. She is an actress and, of course, a property advisor. Karim Sana, Violet. Thank you so much, Ram. It's, it's a pleasure having the both of you. It's a pleasure. Uh, uh, interestingly, I thought it was... Uh, uh, that I thought that I have hosted the both of you before at the same, same time. Mm, no, uh, it never. Not really. Hey, hey, yeah. I should, I should check my first time. Yeah. First time. Mm. All right. But thank you so much for, for coming. I appreciate it. And of course, um, if at all you're just uh, uh, joining us from home, pillars of a healthy relationship, what are they? Tell us, what is the secret towards the success of your relationship? Is uh, your relationship going well? What are the secrets? What is the secret to a healthy marriage? What are the pillars of our relationship? Let's talk about it. The hashtag is a, a, a Power Talk Show on Twitter. That's at Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Aguko at Y254 Channel. Head over to our Facebook page and, of course, uh, drop in your comment on the comment section. We will, you will see a photograph of our, uh, uh, you know, of uh, this uh, fantastic panel. Drop in your comments on the comment section below. And, of course, don't forget, like the page. And, of course, share and subscribe. The hashtag is Power Talk Show. Let's get this show going. And of course, uh, I would like to start with uh, you, Reverend. And of course, I want to start on a personal note. Mm. You're married. Mm. What are some of the secrets that uh, 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 you've managed to acquire that have made your own marriage successful? Thank you, Ram. Uh, and uh, thank you one more time for calling me back again. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I want us to look at first before we get to these other things is that uh, we were created to relate. God created us to, uh, created us to relate. Yeah. No one can uh, do this life alone. In fact, a principal rule of God is said when he referred to relationship, he said that it is not good for a man to be alone. Mm. So God created us for relationship. We cannot, uh, you cannot survive alone. Mm. And being that he created us for relationship, that means there are principles or uh, guidelines that are guiding every successful relationship. Mm. So somebody should not, should not just say that, you know what, I don't need a, I don't need a man. No. I, 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 I'm okay the way I am. As long as I have my money, I can take care of my children, I do yeah. not need a man or I don't need a woman. The world and most of the West are trying to bring a lot of their cultures into our lives. But I want to say... As a servant of God, I would advise that every person should be described by the scriptures. All right, all right. Uh -huh. And mm. uh, two, mm. now that we know that we were created to relate, mm -hmm. there are rules, there are guidelines that brings about this thing called healthy <coughs> relationship. Sorry. Healthy meaning progressive. Healthy meaning successful. Mm. Healthy meaning effective. Mm. Healthy meaning uh, as relationship that is going somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are so many other things. I don't know which one to start with, but there are so many thing, other things. I've been in marriage now for this is uh, my 16th year. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and I would not say that, I would not look at the camera and say that we don't have challenges. We mm -hmm. have had challenges, some of them are very terrible. Mm -hmm. But we have just mastered to navigate and overcome them. Mm -hmm. And we are still standing. Mm -hmm. so, so number one, mm -hmm. I would say love, which uh, I would combine together with friendship. Because both two things are covenant languages. Both love and friendship is a covenant language. You, you, you are a friend to your wife? You have to. You have to be a friend to your you wife. You have to. And, and, and you love her you at have the to same time. Her. Yes. And you know, when we talk about love, most of the time when love is talked about, mm. we think about what we give. But we don't think that the, the aspect of love begins with me. Mm -hmm. I need to love myself. The Bible says that love your neighbors, you love yourself. Mm -hmm. So it begins by loving myself first, tasting that thing called love, this animal called love. Mm -hmm. What is it? I have to taste it, then I can give. You cannot give what you are not, you cannot give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. You love yourself and you are able now to give what you are and what you have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So love is number one. Uh, love is number one. And, uh, together with friendship, we have to be friends. Mm -hmm. You cannot effectively and uh, re have a healthy relationship with somebody who is not your friend. Yeah, you'll be kicking each other every day. Friendship mm -hmm. is a, a neutralizing factor, where we are able to compromise so many other things, our rights, our our whatever, our cultures, just for my partner. Yeah. Yes, because I love, because he's my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but, but I, I, um, just to mention, but a few. Mm -hmm. Those things that have kept your marriage uh, 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 to this far, just mention just just put a few of them. One is uh, love. Love is the one. Said friendship. Number, number two mm -hmm. is trust. Trust. Number three is communication. Okay. Number four, I would say what we call boundaries. All right. All right. <laughs> Can I continue? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, let me keep it uh, there. I'll come back to you. Yeah, yeah. And of course, now uh, let me come to you to give your opening remarks. And the reason why I wanted, I wanted to start with uh, Reverend Kocho is because he's married. And I wanted to, to, to share, because many youths wonder, mm. how, this, this, how do these people who are married survive? Yeah. Some of, some of us, you know, so I, I know somebody watching you, you've just been with that person for like a few months or just a year, and you can't just get, you know, you just want to get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that is from somebody who, has, who is in, <laughs> inside the cooking pot. Uh, Violet, yes. um, do you think that it's important for us to understand mm -hmm. things like these, mm -hmm. the pillars of a healthy relationship? And of course, uh, 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 or how far can it go? Should we just say that, you just uh, kick the ball as you go mm -hmm. and let everything just fall into its own place. Mm -hmm. Should we have that mindset? Okay. Uh, number one, mm. uh, thank you. Number one, I agree with most of the things Reverend has said about um, a healthy relationship mm. in the pillars. And yes, if um, you're looking into a, a healthy relationship, there are a number of things you have to consider. Mm -hmm. You can't just... Uh, start the relationship and go where to you need to have things you need to you need to have things that uh you you're seeing uh, you, the things uh, that all right uh, sorry sorry i'm being told once again we'd love to share that mic that on me i'll do uh, give her that mic oh yes okay. thank you we, we we will go <laughs> to tina to ukienda Yes. Okay. Uh huh. So y okay. you just have to start again. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I, I I don't know if uh, you you guys had everything that you said, but just start afresh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was saying mm. I agree with most of the things Reverend said about a healthy relationship and the pillars, and uh, also you have said should you just uh, start the relationship and go? No, I think you should first consider. You should be intentional first. You should. Um, uh, first, uh, sit down and talk about uh, what are your boundaries, what are the do's and don'ts, mm. what are the things that I consider healthy and what are the things that you consider healthy on your side because mm. Mm. Uh, you can't be saying you want to be in a healthy relationship and there are things that favors you alone. Mm. They should favor your partner as well. Mm. So it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Yes. Sh sh should, you, should you go with the flow? No, you should not go with the flow. Because 
uh, you know a, a relationship is like work that uh, it, that needs commitment mm. that needs order can just ni kama tu kazi you mm. know there are things that you need to do to make to, to get to a particular place. so you know you can just get to work in the morning and you just do everything at any time mm-hmm. you need to plan so i don't think you if you do these things to me this is how i find it mm. and the other party should also lay out should put everything on the table and say what is it that you think is working for you and what is not working for you so that if we begin the relationship mm-hmm. if you come mahali and one is going astray you'll remain there i mm. thought we talked about this so we should to refer to recognition all right so yes. imp- it's important for us to to recognize that there are pillars Yes. And there are aspects you need to build yes. for us to have a strong relationship. Yes. Now, exactly. I, I, I'm, I want to divide this discussion into uh, uh, two parts. First, let's talk about somebody who is about to date. Mm-hmm. Are there those things that they need to look into? Is there a checklist that, you know, once I get to my next relationship, I need to have established one, two, three, and four, because they are saying these might be pillars that might make my relationship strong. So the checklist is, is there that they've got. So before I enter or I get into another relationship, if somebody meets my list or my criteria, they're good to go. Let's start with before I get into a relationship. Okay. Reverend Kocho. Mm-hmm. It has to be deliberate. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things that uh, somebody who is thinking of getting into a relationship should consider, number one is a personal identity. All right. Um, uh, sorry. Um, I'm being told that there's a problem with our mic. So uh, I want us to just take a short break as we check that sound. Of course, keep talking to us. What are the pillars of a healthy relationship in your own experience? We'll be back in a bit. This is Power Talk. Why two five four? Imagine this is power talk, and of course, we value your feedback. Keep talking to us. So, um, I don't know where we can pick it up from. Uh, <laughs> so, to end to end to send you. Yes, yes. Let's uh, continue with you. And of course, we were talking about uh, pillars of a healthy relationship. So, uh, yes, we were still on you, Reverend Kocho. We are looking at uh, this person who is yet to get to a relationship. And I said that uh, so many things around relationship has to be deliberate, has to be intentional. And, uh, and I said, number one, you have to work on your personal identity. You know, you need to ask yourself, if you were to marry yourself or if you were to be your own friend, will you entertain yourself? Will you be happy with who you are? Mm. So your personal identity brings a lot so many things. Number one, your maturity, your character, your, 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 your understanding. Yes, yes, yes. So before you get into a relationship, work first of all on your personal identity who are you mm. are you up to the task are you mature enough to understand how to navigate within the corridors of relationship are you somebody that somebody can love somebody can respect and you know before you talk about being respected you have to respect yourself mm. Mm. are you somebody that can be trusted do you trust yourself so I, so I, uh, you're saying if you want, before you start any relationship the checklist should start with you with you the most okay. dangerous thing that so many people do the checklist start with what they want to bring in, who they want to bring in their lives mm. Mm. and that's very wrong because you are bringing somebody in your life yet mm. you don't know who you are so when this person begins to relate to you, even in, in a right way yeah. you'll get offended because 
you don't even understand who you are you don't even understand what you want you don't even understand what are the boundaries how do i relate how do i talk when such a thing comes up how do i deal with it mm. so you need to work on yourself the checklist begins with you so let's get this idea um uh, uh violet um is it is it wrong because you have people who say i can't date a man who does this i can't date a man who is like this or mm -hmm. i can't i can't date a woman who is like this and there are things that they are saying mm -hmm. particularly mm -hmm. that they if they see yeah it's a red flag. Mm -hmm. It's a no-go zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, before you see a red flag in someone else, have you have you seen yourself? Have you <laughs> seen yourself as a red, as a red flag? flag? <laughs> you know, it be a red flag yourself. Mm -hmm. You are calling other people red flags. Yeah. <laughs> so what I, I, I think first, the way the Reverend had said, mm. uh, have a have a, a, a good a meeting with yourself before you even get into that relationship before you think you want to have that relationship. Mm. First, uh, think about yourself, have a meeting and ask yourself some of the, some of the things, uh, I, you know, before you, you get into something, you have to be whole. We are not asking you to be perfect, yeah. but first you have to be whole for you to come together with someone else mm, so mm, that mm. both of you can be one thing. But, but still, is it wrong for mm -hmm. you to say that mm -hmm. if somebody has this yeah. i can't date way, a woman or a man it's not wrong it's not wrong it's not wrong to have a boundaries it's not mm. wrong to have boundaries that's okay does that break a pillar so it doesn't break any pillar okay it doesn't break a pillar it's it's okay it's okay that. Mm. Mm. just uh -huh. all right okay what i'm saying it's okay to have a boundary mm. and understand what you don't want in someone else but you must have assessed yourself first you must have assessed yourself first for you to understand someone else so mm. it's okay to have that boundary i agree okay mm -hmm. okay okay mm -hmm. Rebecca jo, mm -hmm. um le let me le let me ask you this question now if you look at um, uh, those who are still you know, in fresh mm. and young relationship, mm. it always burns. You know, it, it burns bright. Mm. But the problem is, it burns bright and fades fast. Mm -hmm. Is it because of lack of priorities in these young relationships? It is number one lack of uh, proper identity, mm. and number two is also about our expectations. Mm -hmm. You know before you expect something from somebody are you able to deliver what you're expecting you don't need to expect people to give you who what you are not able to give them when you talk about love you expect somebody who is going to love you somebody who's just going to listen to you when you say something is yes yes sir upon is sour in in fact kubali. but the thing is are you also able to give that so one mm. of the major problems with our generation, they have a lot of, of expectations. Mm. The things that themselves they cannot deliver. And let mm. me, what, what Violet said is true. You know, having this, outlining these red flags is part of the principle, by the way, that governs every relationship. You mm. must know what you can subscribe to and what you cannot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That is not the being too hard. That is not being too bad. Mm. It's knowing who I am. It's, 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 I it's, know. It's not scrutinizing yeah, too much. I cannot eat everything. When I go to a restaurant, by the way, uh, there, there are some, uh, you know, my favorite dish. When I go to a restaurant or a, an hotel, I tell them this is what I need, and I need it this way. Like for example, I love goat meat. When I go to a hotel, I will tell them I like it when it has a lot of uh, onion. I'll make it brown, make it uh, without chili. I, I'm trying to tell them what I need because I know who I am. Mm. I know my taste. So when I say that uh, if this lady does this and does this and who or she is like this, I cannot date such a lady. Mm. That is okay. Violet, are there things that if you see, I, I think mm. Hamak is okay. Mm. Um, are, are, are there things that if you see in a man, you will say, no, I can't date a man who, is, who does this? Yeah, honestly, I would. There are things that I might see uh. that I really I would not, uh, I find like they are deal breakers for me. So I will not go ahead with that. Like what? Um, 
<laughs> what is your deal breaker? <laughs> I'm saying I can't date a man that's yes. uh, okay for me. Uh, I really hate violent people. Violent people are people I will not be close to. Uh. So if I see you as someone I would date but mm. we've gone for a date and you are fighting the waitresses you are fighting <laughs> you know you are so argumentative but 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 i will not i will not but violence isn't yes. always seen on, on on day one yes. is it huh? violence is isn't always oh, seen some on people will see it on day one you will see ah yeah it's the, their character they can't change they won't do it to, for, to you but you can see how they relate with, relate with people so even how they pick their calls exactly. <laughs> 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 Mona mbona mkunipigia early enough hmm? sometimes somebody is arguing with his mother mm. or her mother on phone now let me ask you this question now you see you've, you've you've specifically put out that if a man is violent and of course that is one example among many mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is a deal breaker is there a percentage towards this list mm -hmm. that uh, should be met mm -hmm. because nobody is perfect mm -hmm. You are talking about pillars of a relationship, yet mm -hmm. nobody is perfect. Mm -hmm. So how can a pillar be strong mm -hmm. with people who are not perfect? Okay, you are, no, nobody is perfect. Yeah. That's a mm -hmm. But you see, before you get into that, whatever you call a relationship, yeah. you've already done some assessment, which are the level who you are. Mm. So as, long, as much as you're not perfect, a violent person would not be my cup of tea. If the, I, I, I know, okay, there are some, there are things that are also not good, uh -huh. but number one, violence, mm. and many others that I will talk as we continue. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Reverend Kochol, uh, uh, same question to you. How can we have strong pillars with weak people? We don't talk about perfection when you talk about relationship. Mm -hmm. Even God does not expect perfect people. God expects excellent people. If I know, that is why I still go back to true identity, mm -hmm. personal identity. Mm -hmm. If I know myself, I am not perfect. I should not expect perfection in another person. But at least there are some red lines that somebody should not cross. Like you'll talk about violent, uh, violence or violent people. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And I will also say that I really hate somebody who is a liar. Okay. One of the pillars of a successful relationship or a healthy relationship, we must be truthful and honest to one another or to each other. Mm. It's called honesty. Be honest. Don't be who you are not. Mm. By the way, people who portray another life that they are not, they are dangerous more than al Shababs. Because I have seen this, I'm a, I'm a counselor and I'm a pastor, my friend, um, I've seen weddings that happen today and in the next ma one month or two weeks, they're broken. Somebody's throwing a ring away. Why? Mm. Because this man or this lady portrayed a life that is not. For example, a man, a muscle, it is more so with men. Eh? Because, and I, I think men do, are doing it because of the pressures we are getting from them. Because these ladies need a classy man, you know, this man mm. with a good wallet, mm. you know. So the man has with to the, and, hey, and live up come, to those expectations. Come on, having a nice car, having a nice life, you know. And you want to try to put yourself there while mm. you are not there. So when you get to marry, now the reality debunks on you. Then you realize you cannot maintain the things that you are trying to show off. That is when you realize men can now tell the ladies, you know, when you are still doing marketing, you can do so many things, but now you bought an object, you have something at home. You are now not doing marketing again. So uh, please, I would say that every successful marriage or any successful relationship must have this pillar called honesty. Now, um, of, of course, I, I want us to take a look at what people are saying. Let me just read a few of what people are saying on, 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 on social media. Yes, yes. Because you've asked the question to, uh, to the youths. Uh, mm -hmm. Syria, Syria, my pains is strong, Nigani. And of course, we are saying you talk to us. And uh, let me, uh, this is uh, ancient fire. And my love is an energy that, that requires 
a state of balance. To balance, you require trust. So trust is the foundation. Lakini experiences the difference. Where? <laughs> Keep talking to us. We shall talk about experience. We shall talk about trust. We shall talk about, uh, uh, you, you said, boundaries. After this break, we'll be back in a bit. Y254 Imagine Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back. This is Power Talk. And of course, I want us to take a look at uh, what people are saying on our Facebook platform. That's at Y254 channel. And I said, uh, as I said earlier on, ensure that you follow us on our Facebook page. It's all about understanding one of the pillars of a healthy relationship on this fine uh, uh, Thursday morning. And uh, let's bring bring them up. Timothy, do you have them? Tunaza Nagani Hapasasa. You have Scott, uh, Scott uh, Anasema. The main thing is to trust each other. Uh -huh. Two, have no fear to raise your issue and uh, your opinion in a relationship. And this helps much to surmount of uh, difficulties in the relationship. Otherwise, without the two, the relationship could turn to be at the... Uh, hey. Mumeona hiyo vile niko. Hiyo ni kizungu, hiyo ni kizungu. Ah, tuende. Manja classic anasema siri ni kuamini yu, yule anayempenda na kumridhia pia kutoa kisi misesi. Na fuatilia show. Asante sana. Au ongea kuhusu kisi? Wa kisi amefanya nini? Amesema nini ati? Anaongea kuhusu asira ama nini? Faiza Kadoli Kadoli si Kadoli Kadoli I'm I'm Faiza watching you from Majako Sasa sana Faiza waiting to hear from you guys nowadays relationship ain't working well like before by the way does it mean that time makes things you know be affected I don't know Fela nyasha nasema kuwa trusting Anasema yendo pila. Ben Lang, anasema trust is the key thing. Asana, asana Ben. And of course, uh, you need Ra, Ra, Ra Ancient Fari. I, I, I remember reading this before we went on that break. And of course, let me read it again. Love is an energy that requires a state of balance. To balance, you require trust. So trust is the foundation. Like in experiences, the different. Akekapo ka emoji hapo hivya. Asana, asana. Of course, uh, Ra Asian Fari. You guys, muko na majina funny, funny Facebook ones. Hey, lakini tuna, tuna wapena tu venye muko. Keep talking to us, you know? Keep talking to us. That's like, it's part of show on Twitter at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel, channel is where you can be able to find us. Head over to our Facebook page and of course, drop in your comments on our page. And of course, uh, I shall sample more of your feedback a bit later on. Watch out to, to Nelena. Now this discussion is all about the pillars of a healthy relationship. And uh, we have uh, just tackled before you get into a relationship. And we've said, check on yourself first before you check on that person. Have your own checklist before you have a checklist for another person. Now let's mention a few of these pillars because Nigeria, this discussion is, it's, is very broad. Let's talk about boundaries mm -hmm. you said this and uh, and 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 uh, i want to start let me start with violet mm -hmm. i want to start with violet okay. uh, i remember you you said that you have boundaries with your wife mm -hmm. and i really want to know how uh, 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 you have boundaries there uh, violet do you agree that there should be boundaries between people who are dating mm -hmm. and it could actually act as a pillar yes i okay. believe there should be boundaries for what people kind of who are dating Okay, uh, number one kind of boundary, kuna privacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so privacy is a boundary. Privacy na molewa, you are married. <laughs> what privacy are you talking about here? Huh? Okay, yeah, there's privacy because, you know, there are some people, uh, when you get into their phones, maybe, for example, hataki ukaribia simu yake. You know, na? Hataki ukaribia simu yake. And, uh... Ukiona, you're getting to a point you really want to snoop into someone's 
else's phone or your partner's phone it means kuna trust issues okay you see mm. so if if there are trust uh, if kama kuneza kuwa hakuna trust issues you don't need to go to snoop into someone else's phone so unapata hakuna hiyo kushinda ukienda kushika phone ya mtu mwingine ama mm. utaki kwenda you don't want to keep on following up on them on where they went what they are doing or mm. things like that mm. so unapata kuna hiyo respect ya privacy ya ule mtu mwingine because you don't have anything ya kuwashuku or mistrust them okay. so to me i feel like privacy is a boundary and don't touch their phones Yeah, I didn't I didn't say don't touch Now, their phones. Oh, oh, okay, But um, see, still still uh, on, on privacy. Yes. What about Mpesa number? Mpesa PIN. Mpesa PIN. Boundary hapo. Hapo pia na I think there should be a boundary. Because <laughs> I mean, see Dani una stahili kushare for what? I mean, if you know, if if you know what I earn and I know what you earn and at the end of the month we put everything on the table and we know what is going to what what is going to investments what is going where i don't think we need to have each other same pesa pin but you can have a joint account or maybe you can you be working together but having each other's bank account what if, some, what if one day you're sick anyway, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, there some uh, let, let me come to you Robert. uh what exactly did you mean when you say boundaries is it what variety is saying and 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 i wonder If you are not sharing pin numbers. Yeah. You're not sharing uh, a phone. Yeah. You are not sharing any form of information that could a private information, my information then uh, how do you get along? Uh, I think uh, my sister has a right of our opinion. <laughs> <laughs> But what I mean is this. Yeah. Um boundaries meaning up to what extent? what i mean by this uh i have an influence over her life up to what extent mm -hmm. let me use this for example there's a lady who is a friend to my partner or my, my wife that i'm not so pleased with her character mm. i cannot put it as a rule that once i've said wachana na huyo mama ama wachana na huyo wachana that is wrong okay. to me that is wrong I can only advise that uh, looking at the person she is I don't think she is influencing you right can you observe one, two, three, when, and when, see when uh, they say that kwani mimi you think I don't have a mind of my own uh, why do you think that, that is why me? that is why I will not say that from today I don't want to see you so and so I will only advise <clears throat> and let me go back to what somebody said there i agree with him or her that uh, trust has to be there first trust meaning i am transparent and predictable trust meaning you can verify what i do and what i say mm. unless that thing is not there then it will be so very hard to deal with the other things of boundary once there is trust trust will deal with so many sicknesses once i trust you there are things i will not bother to give you commanding you and giving you rules and regulations i'll mm -hmm. just advise you mm -hmm. because i know number one you're not perfect so i'll just advise you because to me any advice i'm giving to my partner i am investing in her or i'm investing in him Okay. Yeah, I'm not correcting her to prove that I'm better than her mm. or I'm not correcting her to prove that I'm the man of the house or I'm the man of the day. Mm. I'm not correcting her to prove that I after all I'm I'm on top of. I'm mm. just investing in the woman I want her to be. Not about investing in knowledge. Does it mean that for you to have a strong relationship you know everything about your partner? Uh, le let me first of all touch what uh, she said. I think yes. in a marriage setup, it will be good that uh, I know your pin, you know my pin. Actually, th that is part of the question. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, it will be good that way because, uh. one, if I am able to remove all my clothes mm -hmm. and remain with you naked and you also remove your clothes and remain with me naked, what else do you want to keep from me? because the worst of all secrets i've seen 
Yeah. Number two. What makes uh, what brings trust is openness. I'm open. You can access my phone and see the people I interact with, but also with understanding. Like for example, I'm a pastor. Yeah. I deal with people's secrets. There are things that people bring to me that should not get to a third party. So my partner should also understand who I am, what type of job I do, and what type of people I deal with. So that when if she finds somebody's secret or somebody's issue or a problem in my phone, then she is not this peri peri woman or peri peri person that will go about say, ah, I was checking my partner's phone. Oh, by the way, Nani is going to, Nani is having HIV. I didn't know. So there should be openness in PIN number, bank account number. I can access account because, mm. for example, uh, my hustle rest in peace. Um, I lost a. Uh, 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 a daughter and a member and uh, one of my leaders yesterday. Well, mm. And uh, she has a friend who is just a lady like her. Mm. She is a single mother as far as I've known her. Mm. And this other pastor friend, she was able to share with this other pastor friend her mm. PIN number. That we are taking to the hospital, this is my PIN number. In case you need to access some money, please. You can get to my MPESA and access some okay. money. Mm, mm. So yesterday the lady was in Machakos. We mm. were not able to reach her in time, but she was able to access the other, other phone, get some money even before we sent her some money. Mm. So look at it from this perspective that all of a sudden at night I fell uh, sick. I cannot access my account. I cannot get to my impressor. And you're the, the, the only people who know you have been are you and God. Yeah, and me are God. <laughs> and now that time God cannot get to my phone <laughs> and re, I mean withdraw money. And for example, the, the bitter part of it I experienced with a friend of mine some years ago. And this friend was to go through some agent theatre. And there's this hostel that you have to pay a deposit of some money before you go through that. Then the wife was not able to access this money because the wife didn't have a pin. Mm. So this man died on a bench because the money was not available, yet the money was in his empire. So there should be openness. There should be, uh, in a spite there is boundaries. I only talk about boundaries. After I influence you up to what extent? Mm, okay. Yeah, right. I talk to you up to what extent. When I've talked to you about something, I need to understand, I need to give you time to under, to, to chew, I mean, uh, internalize what I've said. I don't mm. need to control you over it, but I can advise. Uh, Violet, mm -hmm. after hearing that, mm -hmm. is your mind changed? <laughs> uh, or, 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 or what is still your belief system about the issue of, of, of sharing pins, passwords, passcodes? And, okay. and credentials okay maybe when i was uh, answering that question i was answering it in the context of dating <laughs> Uh, yes, in the context different? of dating. In the context of dating. <laughs> yes. So, so if you're dating, so don't share. Yeah, if you're if married, you're, share. Yeah, if you're still dating, because uh, I was answering that question in the context of dating. You know, mm. you're, you're not yet married. And mm. you know the way the world is right now. Before you get to that person that you are marrying, you'll mm. have dated 50 people. So, so if you're sharing your pin with this one person and you break up after a week and then you share your pin with the next Next hey, guy, uh, so, but, but no, the time, but the time, but the time you are married, you are going to have bank accounts. Ngapi, you may badly share password. Marangapi. Okay, so so <laughs> it was in the context of dating. Of dating. Now, yeah. still, mm -hmm. we have many young people mm -hmm. who go through that which you've said. Mm -hmm. They're dating, they break up. They date mm, another person, yes. they break up. Yes. By the time you, you, uh -huh. you, 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 you're 30 mm -hmm. or, or, or 35, mm -hmm. you've sure dated the whole clan. <laughs> uh, and and, and uh, you're like, ah. Some, you, you, you can get tired. Yeah. Definitely. You can get tired. Yeah. So what is the problem? <laughs> you know, uh, and, and you wonder, is it that they don't have pillars mm -hmm. that can make their relationship strong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but at the same time you have the same same youth some youths mm -hmm. who have who can date one person for five years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they 
faithfully. <laughs> but sad, sadly, okay. they break up okay. and then yeah. they, 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 they date another for five years again. And okay. so, yeah. where are the pillars here? I, I, I guess the problem with this kind of people, it's the mentors and the people they are looking up to. Because uh, I, I'm not by the age 30, but I have gotten advice from very many people. You're still young. You still have time to jump from town to town, from street to street, and they say, uh, to from kiss many person frogs. and kiss many frogs, mm. and pa and paint the town red. Mm. You know, it's the mentors that you are looking after. You know, <laughs> they are they are they are misadvising us. And I can be a very late. You're still young for this thing called marriage, mm. and may feel that is not a good advice. If you're out there and you're telling people that. Don't tell people they are still young to get married. Oh. Give them give them those pillars. Tell mm. them when you get there, what is it that you are supposed to do. Okay. Okay. Tell them, mm. ukifika hapo, this is what will happen. Because uh, if you start telling people uh, your downfalls and what is happening into your marriage, they usually say, I'm not getting married to your partner. I'm, ge I'm getting married to my own partner. And how is it called? So they are misadvising these young girls and they are telling them you're still young. So you'll see this lady, Mumendo Kamambe, you're still young to date and she will come and take your husband. So why would you advise young girls? What I think, yeah. if you feel at a certain age, even if it's 25 or 24 or 26, and you've sat down, with, uh, you have had a meeting with yourself, you've talked to uh, counselors or mentors, and you feel like this is the time really I want to settle. If you're a family-oriented person, I think you should go for it. Don't wait to get to 30 or 35 uh -huh. for you to get married. Uh, uh, let me come to you, mm -hmm. uh, Evans. Mm -hmm. and. Um, mm -hmm. This is this is one aspect that is killing many relationships. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Mm -hmm. The aspect of you're too young, <coughs> or yeah. you're getting too old. Yes. <laughs> so at some point you're too young. At some point you're getting old. You understand. So at what point was I at the right exactly. age? Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, how can we ensure that the right pillars of relationships are instilled in our youths mm -hmm. if we don't even know the best advice to get? as young people. I agree with Violet that um, that has destroyed so many people. Uh, anytime you're giving an advice, please explain it. Make it understood so well that somebody knows what you're saying. This aspect of uh, you are too young, you are uh, too old, so I you agree. Grow, or you're getting old, you're getting time old. is catching up with you. <coughs> You need to tell, before you tell me uh, whether I'm too young or uh, getting old, mm. you need to tell me that you look at me, am I ready for what you think I'm too old for? Or am I ready for what you think I'm too, too young for? And this is the question of uh, mentorship that uh, she talked about. Mm. And I think our generation are losing it here in the point of mentorship. Our generation today tend to be very independent thinkers to an extent that nobody should talk to them. They know it all. Mm. Let me tell you something. You cannot ignore it. If it is a principle that God laid as a foundation, both, yeah, both yeah. and this is a principle that works for both saved and both who are not saved. Mm. Because God is not for people who are saved and the people who are not saved belong to another thing. God is for all of us. So these principles are this for whether you are Christian or non-Christian. These across, across, you know. Mm -hmm. you check the Bible. These people who are successful, look at Ruth, for example. Let me ask from some perspective of, of a woman. Mm -hmm. Look at Ruth. Ruth was a Moabite woman. But when she lost her husband, she saw something beyond materialism in the life of her mother-in-law, Naomi. And Naomi mentored Ruth to a good wife to Boaz. Look at uh, the likes of Elisha in the Bible. Look at Timothy. Look at uh, 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 these other people. You know, they walked with someone. Somebody said that if you are going around, walk alone. But if you are going far, walk with somebody. And if you are looking for a mentor, don't look for somebody who is taking advantage of you. 
look for somebody who is able to accept you with all your weaknesses and your strengths and able to help you define your strengths, help you cultivate the best out of you so that you are able to be there. So the moment we ignore the area of mentorship, we lose it. When you ignore mentorship like, like a child who has no parents, you, lo you see these street children, mm. they hang around everybody in trousers as a father mm. because they don't have one. They can do anything. They can eat anything. They can run anything. They can, they can face any danger because they don't have uh, a, a, a parent. Uh, a ment mentorship is like parenthood. You know, somebody is telling you principles to live by and you're safe. So the moment we miss that, then this is where we'll find yourself in a mess. But I want to advise the mentors and now the senior people. Mm. Before you tell somebody is uh, growing old, please confirm if they are ready for what you think they are growing old for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you worked with them to realize that they are mature enough to handle a relationship? And if you think they're too young, how old are they? In the constitution of Kenya, somebody beyond 18 is allowed to get into a relationship, to get married. So somebody at 20 is still telling the, somebody at 20 that you're too young, you're too young, you're too young. And it's too young. This is, the room, this is why this, this room of mingling. I'm too young, I cannot settle. So let me kiss this frog A, frog B, frog 4, frog 10. Then when, once I'm done, and this person realizes that uh, she's done when she's over 30 something. And now she is not able to settle in a relationship. So before you tell somebody is too young, please check, are they not ready for what you think they're too young for? Are they uh, mm. ready for what you think they're getting old for? Wow. Check those things. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> I, I love that. So if, if, if we are to look at... Um, at some of these pillars, then um, should we recognize the age factor? Age factor is uh, an issue. Mm. I would say from how I was brought up is an issue. Mm. But today looking at things and how things are playing out, some might not consider age factor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was brought up in the, on this principle that, you know, when you are getting married or you want to get a relationship, at least uh, have a lady whom you are ahead of her at least five years. And one of the things I was told, you know, women depreciate faster. Let me use that term for okay. lack of better okay. uh, <laughs> term. Eh? They yeah. depreciate faster uh -huh. simply because of two things. Number one, mm. giving birth. Number two, they're menstrual. Uh, times. Eh? Mm. These things makes them to grow faster and depreciate faster. So if you could consider such things, yeah. can, can, do they have a, an, an effect on the kind of advice uh, you, we are giving to people today in terms of the pillars for their relationships? They, would, uh, they would have effect because, you know, for example, you marry somebody who is ahead of you by five years, a woman who is ahead of you. Mm. Now, do you know by the time you are 40, this woman is 45. Yeah. In real sense, she will look like 50. There are things that she will begin to have no interest in. There are kind of talks, there are kind of jokes, there are kind of play mm -hmm. that she begins to lack interest. All right. You right. know, what, what, and at that time, mm -hmm. you are ripe. You wanted that. You know, even in, 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 in the inside life, there are things that this woman reaches an age that she is now not liking such kind of uh, uh, involvement. Right, um, I want us to go to Twitter, yeah. but Violet, let me give you a chance mm -hmm. to respond to that. If all you have, uh, do you have something to say or to add mm -hmm. in regards to that particular issue? Mm, okay, I agree with him. I fully mm -hmm. agree with him. All right. Yes. So, so you... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For a woman, one, one, one important pillar is mm -hmm. recognize that the man has to be a bit older a than you. A bit older. Even if it's 10 years, I would... It should not be a principle. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, the uh, man. Mm -hmm. uh. It can just be an advice we give to our young people. Mm -hmm. It should not be seen like it must. Mm -hmm. Because today, like the other day I was seeing on the TV, a young man of 30-something uh, mm -hmm. married a woman who is 50-something. Mm -hmm. 
and that is why we'll go back to what I call love. Mm. But if you look at factors that will take place not tomorrow, not five years coming, mm. but maybe 30, 20 years coming, then you might need to look at that because you get to a point that the woman is now too old that you are never proud. You, you find yourself not proud to get to her or get mm. with her in some events because mm. she is now not liking the way you are carrying some things. But now at that t at age and time, you feel like that is your time to do that. All right. Yeah. I, I, want, us, I want us to move to, to, to Twitter. Uh, Twitter, Twitter, uh, Timothy, bring it up, bring it up. Are you ready? All right. Uh, this is uh, Geoffrey. Uh, Nasama, uh, to, uh, to be open and honest to each other is a key to a strong relationship. And of course, Steve-O Mamoshi. Nasama, true. Asana, sana, steve -o. Uh, Let's move on. Still on Twitter. We have uh, uh, Edgar Chelanga. Nasama, the pillars of a healthy relationship uh, are as follows. Uh, pillars should have open... Partners should have open... Uh, uh, mind to each other that is hakuna kufichana maneno then as a father or the head of the house ensure that your character is respectable and uh, trusted uh, all right and of course um uh, these are just some of the comments that uh, we are getting on our social media handle uh, now um i want us to bring this conversation to a close mm -hmm. today we said that we are going to divide this conversation into two today we handle the first part mm -hmm of before you get into a relationship mm -hmm. and some of the things you need to to mm -hmm. take care of mm -hmm. you know as a person you look mm -hmm. at yourself you look mm -hmm. at the age of that mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. you look at some of the things they like some of the, th the things you mm -hmm. you like and I, I love the fact that it's coming out clearly that you know what when i'm still dating there's some things that i need to set as boundaries for myself and there's some things i need to keep mm -hmm. for marriage mm -hmm. let's wrap it up mm -hmm. Remember, still confine yourself mm -hmm. to the young and those who are still uh, dating and those who are yet to get into dating. Mm -hmm. Let's have a final word. Mm -hmm. What is your final word in, in, in regards to the pillars of a healthy relationship in that particular perspective? Okay. Let me start with, with you, uh, Violet. So I really still uh, insist mm -hmm. on, the, on the young people, the young guys in their teen uh, to all the way to 30. I still feel if you feel like you are ready to do this, just uh, do some uh, mentorship, take some mentorship classes and uh, try and educate yourself. Because I read something that said, love alone is not enough to make a marriage or a relationship work. There needs to be knowledge. There needs to be wisdom. You need to have knowledge to understand your partner. They need to have knowledge to understand you as well. So there are a number of things that are needed into a relationship for it to work. So if you get to a point that you understand love alone is not enough to keep a relationship mm. or to make a marriage work, mm. Mm. and then re the rest of the things will flow. The All pillars right. will come out. The because it includes honesty, positive communication, there is mm. trust. So all of those, if you if you get to 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 educate yourself and learn, you know, you don't need to pay a a, a lot to go for classes. Just all get right. to YouTube and educate yourself. So if all you right. have those things, mm. you'll be able to take it up from there, and you can be able to sustain any relationship or marriage with right. knowledge and understanding. All right, Reverend Kuchu, yeah. a final word. I agree with Violet. Have a mentor. Don't walk alone. Relationship mm. is not a site touring thing. Mm. It is a lifelong contract. Once mm. you get into it, it is going to affect you uh, for life. But I want to add two things. Number one, uh, one, one of the pillars of a successful relationship is communication. Have good, healthy communication between the two of you. You need to communicate. Communicate meaning, that does not just mean calling you mekula, umelala, mekula nini, ukona bundle, no. It's also uh, an environment whereby I'm able to talk and you are able to listen. All right. We, are, we can talk, we can listen. And finally, also uh, balance, what we call balance or uh, equity. I would say that there should be a balance. You need to know that I will not have time for all time for you. Mm -hmm. I also have my mother. Mm -hmm. I also have my friends. Mm -hmm. I also have a job to do. Right. And in balance there, you need to understand that we, there must be a balance of receiving 
and giving. And give. All right. Meaning, if I'm giving you, it is not only, there, there, there's no monopoly of making money from the side of men. Even mm -hmm. ladies make money. Okay. When I'm giving you, there should be a balance. That you are, a, a time comes when you also give. There should be a balance. All right. Thank uh, you. Let's head over to Facebook. This is uh, Reda Mombo. Anasama, uh, bring it up, Timothy. Mm -hmm. And of course, this year I'm, I'm seeing uh, Anasama, yes, yes, Ram. Boundary in a relationship are meant to show you where you end where you end where you end and someone else begins thus boundaries helps to create a sense of in a relationship enjoying the show from void thank you that's so much true. Uh, that's, true. that's true is that true that's true that's true huh? yeah. uh -huh. this is uh uh case uh, uh, and some of the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone <laughs> someone is pitching here I'm talking about Jesus Christ. If you la if you leave him out of anything, if you leave him out of anything in your life, it won't last. I agree. He's saying that uh, that is a pillar. I agree. You agree. I agree. Let's end with a quote of the day. Yeah. And of course, this is part of keep talking to us. Tell us whether whether you believe with this, uh, you believe in this or not. That a healthy relationship, whether it's romantic, brotherly, or friendly is when each person is allowed room to grow unjudged and still loved. Exactly. I agree. Thank you so much, Reverend Kocho. Mm. Thank you so much, Violet. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. And of course, we have not yet touched on the different pillars. Yeah. There was just laying the foundation. The we'll come back. I love the foundation we've laid so far. <laughs> we are loaded. <laughs> That brings us to the end of this morning conversation right on Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. It's a, it has been a pleasure being with you on this fine Thursday morning. It has been all about the pillars of a healthy relationship. Have you learned something? I sure have. This is Power Talk.